Well, we gave it our best, but we got shot down by a Scud missile in Scunthorpe. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that big run that we had, well, we were rebuilding a run. That has ended, but uh, we're back off on a winning foot again. And uh, today we have uh, dorking highlights in a league match, and then we have uh, the uh, match against Hartlepool in the FA Trophy quarterfinal. Let's get to it. Hey guys, RC here, back with Play the Kids, our youth challenge with Tiverton Town. This is episode 29, and you can see uh, we did lose to Scunthorpe 2-0, uh, but then we beat Southport 4-1. Robin Mudge with a brace, Tony Doyle, and Anthony Carmichael with goals in that one. We had a lot of people out on vacation uh, for both of these matches. As we were resting, Graham Williams, uh, Ireland was out a little bit. Uh, or no, he's going to be out moving forward, I believe, for this this match. I don't know. We sent him. We sent about five or six people out on vacation. Hemmings was out on vacation. Uh, Nuevo was out. But uh, anyway, we will have highlights for dorking. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager content. Much appreciated, guys. And let's check out those highlights against Dorking. Well, you can see they really parked the bus against us here, and it worked. Uh, we're checking out key highlights. There was a header attempt, but right into the keeper's arms in the 12th minute. So last episode, since we didn't score any goals, this was a nil-nil draw. Spoiler alert! Um, you guys can just kind of watch the key highlights. But you remember last episode, I mentioned that uh grant williams had scored the quickest goal in club history in tw in the 20th second well mudge has broken that record scoring in the 14th second so uh yeah but you can see this is uh uh this is this is killing me um if you don't want to watch nobody scoring oh that was oh that was the woodwork shot that should have been in by mudge Oh well, it, it just didn't work out. We could we we dominated them here statistically. Scobie should have scored there. Just nothing happening. So yep, yeah, we, we're gonna put you guys out of your misery on that. A nil nil draw. You can see we had twenty five shots to two. They just what a park the bus. Act like you want to try to get a win. You know, uh, if you're not playing to win, what are you playing for? Just uh, ugh. But anyway, all right, we'll be back for Hartlepool in the FA Trophy in just a second. We're going to go with Humphreys in goal, a back four, Hugel, Hemmings, Allard, and Taylor. Nuevo and Bliss are in the mid on this one. Ellis is out suspended uh, from last match in the uh, FA Trophy. Uh, Ireland and Scobie on the wings. Mudge and Williams up top. This is a big, big match for us in the quest to win some silverware. And it's a club that we just beat pretty handily. So hopefully we can get it done. We're going to encourage. And we're in a downpour. That's not good. We, we haven't, you know, a lot of the games that we've lost have been uh, in rain. So, oh, there's one through the middle. And Graham Williams just drops back, picks out a little pocket of space, and put it in the net. That was very, very nice. Little cheeky heel kick here into Nuevo. And look at Williams just take a couple of steps back, get his left peg on it, just chip it right into the goal. Beautiful finish. 1-0 to Tiverton in the early going. Uh, we know what's going to happen here. No, it didn't happen here. Wow. Two-on-two -two breakaway. Oh, uh, it bounces off, and Williams with the rocket. He's got a brace inside the first 10 minutes, and it's Tiverton Town 2, Hartlepool nil. And we are looking at a trip up to the semifinals.
That one goes over the goal. We'll take the goal kick out of that. Oh, my goodness. Now, see, they're not parking the bus against us. That's good. Hugel over the top. Mudge. Mudge held up for some reason. Looks like he may have been worried about being offsides. All right, they've got a big presence building up here, but Allard clears that one away. Looking for some space. Williams comes way back to get that ball at midfield, and that was a poor ball in. Oh, uh, Taylor misses the tackle. Allard gets beaten off the ball. Taylor comes back. He gets beaten on the ball. The chip over the top and then knocked down by Ajani, but he was off sides. So that was a stroke of luck for us. It's like Hemming. Oh, Hemming just stepped up just a smidge. Oh, that was lucky, lucky. Three shots, three on target, two in the net. Let's encourage him again. There's one that doesn't go anywhere. Just, you know, they're just off a little bit on some of these balls they're trying to play through. But again, the team's been playing really well. We're still looking, not a shoe in for automatic promotion. Oh, and Taylor got beaten on that one. Ouch. It'll be nice to get up a couple of levels to where we can start, you know, I really want to go professional where we can start developing players. But we also need the attendance to start picking up. I mean, this is a home match in the quarterfinals of, of, of a competition. And I think we sold under 400 tickets. So. Not good. Nuevo stuck a foot out and then pulled it back. We're just not, not looking crisp here. Scobie tries to run on with that, loses it. And there is another goal. Dead gummit. All right, now we're going to have to, well, I can't demand more yet. 27th minute, Hartlepool equalizes. I'm going to demand more now. And it's not like we're playing badly. Ireland is really giving me some struggle on that wing. And he is a key player for us. I don't know what, what his deal is. If the injury this year just really set him up. Oh, my God. What a save by Humphreys. That was a horrible play by Taylor. I, I think I'm subbing him off at the half. Says he's playing a 6-9, but I haven't seen anything to make me comfortable. Yep, is Cuierdo. He's going to come on. I'm going to point the finger. That should motivate him. We're going to demand more again. There's the cross. Headed clear. I really miss Ellis here. And Scobie gets past his man and gets his second goal of the season. That was a nice assist and a big, big goal. Just two minutes in, three minutes into the second half, and we've reasserted the lead three to one or three to two. Williams still sitting on two goals. I honestly thought that he would be on a hat trick already. All right, let's pull off Bliss, maybe. Or maybe not. All right, we're going to let him ride it out because I don't have any central midfielders. Come on, boys. And, of course, we come back to a Hartley Pool highlight. Knocked away by Scobie. He's looking for some man of the match votes. Crossed in, and the header by Mudge goes over. Oh, that would have been a nice place to get another goal. We need one more to seal this up, I think. All right, let's jump in and make another sub here. I don't have anybody there. Ireland. You know what? I'm going to move Carmichael out there. And 
he will be inverted. You know what? I just realized we had, I had changed that a couple of matches back to an inverted, and it never changed back to the plain winger. So I need to look at that between matches. All right, 80th minute. All right, let's do a time-wasting sub. Tony Doyle for Mudge. Mm. Scobie's having a good game. You know what? Let's bring Andy Scott in. Fresh legs for Hemmings. Hate to do that, but, you know, everybody that we can pick up a few minutes of match time. Oh, no. No. Okay. Okay. And Mudge misses the net. Just off target. 40 seconds left in the match in stoppage time. Oh, that was a nice ball by Hugel. Oh, big ball into Scobie. He crosses it, but nobody's there. Oh, no. What happened? What is that? Oh, thank goodness. I thought that might have been a penalty on Humphreys. Oh, that would have killed me. Blow the whistle. Thank you. Blow the whistle. Gee whiz. Oh, that was a panic moment for me. A Johnny and Humphreys in the box. Big win. A good win. So that's going to put us in the semifinals. So let's find out real quick who we're going to play there. We get $14,000 for that. Bliss is needing a rest. Let's finish the day so we can find out our next opponent and when that's going to take place. All right, let's see. Too many yellow cards. So I don't know if that's suspended for the next match or the next competition match. Ouch. Hopefully it's not the competition. All right, that'll be the FA Trophy semifinal. Why don't they have our opponent yet? They probably haven't played yet. All right, well, that's where we're going to come back. Oh, the semifinal is a two-legger. So, you know what? We're dominating the league, so we'll come back next match, next episode. We'll do the semifinal le first leg. We'll do highlights, and then we will play out the second leg. Or maybe I'll play out both since it's a semifinal. Uh, but the, and then I'll I'll play the intermediate league matches between uh, between matches in the episode. But you won't see those. But we will look at the scores. So that'll give us six more league matches, get us into the final five, and we'll take a look at the semifinal next time. Guys, hit that like button, subscribe for daily football manager content, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.